Today we will learn about the connective tissue of animals. In the body of animals, various tissues together perform the different functions of the body. On the basis of functions performed by tissues, animal tissue is classified into epithelium tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. Now, let's understand the connective tissue of animals. The tissue that connects the various organs of the body with each other is called connective tissue. That's why blood and bones are the types of connective tissue. The cells of the connective tissue are loosely packed and are embedded in an intercellular matrix. This matrix may be fluid, jelly-like, dense or rigid. The nature of the matrix varies according to the function of the particular connective tissue. Now, if we pour a drop of blood on the slide and observe it with the help of microscope, then we will see cells of different types like this. That's why blood is a type of complex tissue. The fluid matrix of blood is called plasma. In plasma, red blood corpuscles, white blood corpuscles and platelets are suspended. With this, plasma also contains water, glucose, proteins, salts, enzymes and hormones. We know that blood transports digested food, gases, hormones and waste products from one part to another part in the body. That means it performs the function of transportation. From blood capillaries, a fluid is secreted, which is called lymph. This fluid is present around the cells of the body. The cells of the lymphatic tissue, that is, white blood corpuscles, are suspended in the fluid matrix. Lymph provides immunity to the body. We know that bone also connects the different organs of the body with each other. That's why bone is also the type of connective tissue. Bone cells that are osteocytes are embedded in the matrix composed of calcium and phosphorus. That's why this matrix is hard, due to which this tissue is hard and strong. That's why we are unable to bend the bone. The bones form the framework, which provides shape to the body and provides movement to different body parts. Along with this, it also provides support to muscles and main organs of the body. The two bones are connected with each other by the ligament. Therefore, ligament is also a type of connective tissue. There is very less matrix in the ligament that connects the bone and other bones. Ligament is very elastic and strong. The bones and muscles are connected with each other by tendon. Therefore, the tendon is also the connective tissue. It is strong, fibrous and tissue with limited flexibility. Similarly, the cartilage is also the type of connective tissue. Cartilage is present in our ear, nose, larynx and trachea. The cells of this tissue that are chondrocyte are flexible and widely spaced. That's why we can bend cartilage easily. Its cells are embedded in a matrix composed of proteins and sugars. Cartilage smoothens the joints of bones 
and gives shape and support to different organs. The areolar connective tissue is present between the skin and the muscles of the body, around the blood vessels and in the nerves and bone marrow. The cells of this tissue are loosely packed and are embedded in a jelly-like matrix. This tissue fills the space inside organs and supports the internal organs and also helps in repair of tissues. Similarly, the adipose tissue is present below the skin and between internal organs. Its cells that are adipocytes are embedded in a jelly-like matrix. Adipose tissue stores fat, that's why its cells are filled with fat globules. Due to storage of fat, adipose tissue is a source of energy and it also acts as a heat insulator. So now you can definitely tell why the slim person feels more cold as compared to fatty person. Today we have learned about the connective tissue of animals. Thank you.